But first tonight, Aussie flags right around the country have been flown at half-mast for most of the day to honour our fallen war heroes. But there's nothing true blue about where many of these flags we fly actually come from. As Vassal Melandris discovered, the flags that adorn even our most important buildings are made in China. And that's prompted calls for change. Hey, true blue. I think that this, as a nation, uh, we ought to say that enough is enough. They should have an Australian flag made in Australia. That's the one thing they should never let go. It should be Australian. It's got a lot of people in a flap. I think it should be made here. Of course. There's so little is made here now. That should be one thing that, that is Australian made. A contentious claim that goes to the heart of our national identity. I've heard the rumour that the flag above Parliament House was made in China. That's right, our country's biggest banner, the 13 metre by 7 metre Australian flag, flying high above Parliament House, is one of foreign descent. I know they used to be made in Brisbane. I rang the fellow in Brisbane yesterday and he said that uh, while he used to make them, he hasn't had an order lately. I think there's something quite wrong about the flag on top of Parliament House, the symbol of our democracy, not actually being made in Australia. It doesn't make sense. But this is no bureaucratic blunder, it's federal law that encourages cheap imports to flood the market under the guise of our free trade agreement. No other country in the world has such a literalist, purest approach to free trade. No wonder that in other countries in the world people laugh at Australians and call us the free trade Taliban. Senator Nick Xenophon is now trying to find out how many flags hoisted above our nation's buildings, squares and even war memorials are in fact Aussie made. We know for instance that flags made on naval ships are made in another country. We know that flags uh, at the Australian Electoral Commission's polling booths on election day aren't made in Australia. And what about all those flags flying at half-mast today? Do they carry the label made in China? Sprinting, running through, under, into the oven and out here. Stuart Van Rout is one of the few remaining vexillographers or flag makers who are increasingly competing against overseas companies to win government contracts. It's the Australian flag and it should be made in, in Australia. He says if we don't fix the loophole in the law, all our official flags will be replaced by inferior, imported substitutes that don't last and don't really belong to us. It's not right colour, not the right ratio, you know, uh, pretty tatty efforts. You don't get value for money out of the cheapies. And people come back to Australian-made stuff. The fabrics are better, the uh, structure of the fabrics better. The only way to save the industry and stop Australian manufacturing from being blown away, according to Nick Xenophon, is to amend the Flag Act. I think we are being absolute mugs if we don't pass this piece of legislation to make sure that when you see the flag flying on top of Parliament House or on top of our federal and government buildings, that that flag should have been made right here in Australia. Where's your camera, mate? Well, not from Australia. Yeah, mate, where's your shirts, mate? Where's your clothes, mate? But for something as sacred as... I agree with you. Um, it's the government saving money at the risk of losing its um, identity. I would think if it was a Chinese flag flying above Parliament House, the size it is, it wouldn't be flying there for very long. Now be fair, Dinkum.